Proper measurement is an essential part of successful baking. Unlike cooking, where you can often get away with eyeballing the number of ingredients you put in the dish, baking is chemistry and it requires precision. Let's admit it, none of us like to waste pricey and quality baking supplies over a failed recipe. However, if you want to make the best out of an excellent recipe for your German chocolate cake or a Japanese cotton cheesecake, you better upgrade your measuring methods. So without waiting anymore, let's take a look at the video and check out the tips for accurately measuring wet and dry ingredients to save you from baking fields and make amazing baked goodies. Get the right measuring tools you need some quality measuring tools like measuring cups and spoon sets to weight ingredients like flour, sugar, baking powder, butter, and the tiniest amount of salt. You can try one of the most popular measuring cups in the market, which is the Pyrex Glass Measuring Cup Set, known as the best friend of home bakers like you all around. Also, you can check out this durable set of stainless steel measuring cup set, the New Star Food Service Measuring Spoons and Measuring Cups Combo. Use a weighting scale. Perfect measurement always calls for a weighting tool. Using a kitchen scale will give you accurate results to measure wet and dry ingredients every time. You can check out the Inevifit Digital Kitchen Scale which can also be used when you're trying to control food portions and do some healthy baking. Keep a chart of volume equivalences handy. Did you know different regions of the world use different measuring equivalences? What you have as ounces in the United States may be known as cups in Europe and Asia. Hence, you need to know how to differentiate between volume equivalences for working on your recipes. For instance, one stick of butter will be equal to 8 tablespoons or half a cup of butter. To make it simpler, you can prepare your own measuring chart to hang on the kitchen wall. Or if you're a busy bee, try getting a chart like the Talented Kitchen Magnetic Kitchen Conversion Chart, which you can easily hang in your magnetic refrigerator door. Measure wet ingredients by volume The most accurate measurement of liquid ingredients like milk, oil or water is done by volume. For instance, the use of oil in a moist cake recipe will positively affect the texture of your cake. To do it precisely, you can follow the markings of your glass measuring cup so that every ounce is counted to perfection. Measure dry ingredients by wet when you're measuring dry ingredients like flour, cocoa powder, corn flour, and baking soda, you need to measure them by weight rather than volume. A useful tip for weighting dry ingredients is not to compress them too hard. Just simply fluff them up with a spoon and for best results, measure them on a scale to avoid imprecision. Bonus tip! While measuring sticky ingredients like honey, caramel, or molasses, coat the inside of your measuring cup with cooking oil or spray to make sure it slides out smoothly without sticking. Overall, we are sure you will succeed in your next baking adventure if you keep these basic tips in mind to measure wet and dry ingredients and impress your friends and family with freshly baked homemade goodies. That being said, we are now at the end of the video. Hope you loved it and subscribe if you did. In the comment section, let us know if you find any of these tips helpful. Stay tuned if you want more videos like this.